Hello. For this video, I'm going to show you how to make a lattice work background. Okay. Um, I want to make it so that it fits a regular A2 card. So I'm going to use those, those measurements minus a little bit. So the A2 card is eight and a half or it's, yeah, it's eight and a half folded in half. So it's four and a quarter and then it's five and a half inches long. Okay. I want my layer to be, my lattice work layer to be four by five and a quarter. Okay. So that's what I've cut these pieces with um, in length. These are five inch, five and one quarter. Okay. One, two, three, four, five, and just a quarter. So the two side pieces here are five and a quarter, so they'll fit on the card. And then the two top pieces are four inches. Okay. So let me, there you go. Four inches. Okay. So I'm just going to go ahead and glue these together in the corners. So I'm going to go ahead and put some glue here and some glue here, some glue here, and some glue here. All righty. Then I'm just going to glue them together. making sure that they stay straight. That's the hardest part, is to make sure they stay straight. <laughs> All right, and then put the bottom piece on too. All right, and then what I like to do is do this. Turn it over and check the corners, and then turn it over and check those corners. Make sure nothing's hanging over and make sure everything's pressed down and everything's lining up. All right, so that looks pretty good to me. All right, this one's up just a wee bit. Okay. All right, so now this should fit on the card front. And as a matter of fact, I'm gonna put it on a, an off-white one just, to, just so that we can see it. So that should line up on there perfect, which it does. That's awesome, okay with a little bit of border around. So that's perfect, good. All right, so that's what we need. So now what I'm gonna do is I have these strips here that are half an inch wide, okay? So what I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna start going, I'm gonna go in this direction first. So we're gonna go, you know, this way. And then we'll come back and we'll do the other way, okay? <clears throat> but while I'm doing this, what I'm gonna do is, oop, that one's a little bit thinner. I just pulled these out of my scrap box, so. I wanna to try to keep them all the same width. So let me check that right now. This one's wider. All right, I think we're pretty good. Close enough. Okay, so these two are a little funky. So we'll take those two away. All right, so what I'm gonna do now is just take one and start with the, with the first one. And I'm gonna just put some glue here in the corner. And I'm gonna go ahead and I'm gonna line this up with the corner. Put this tip right with that tip. And it doesn't really matter exactly how you line it up as long as you do the same thing each time for each, you know, with the same difference between. So, and I'll show you that in just a moment. So I'm just gonna put this piece down and make sure this is lined up here, which it is. And then I'm gonna put some glue underneath here. Okay, then I'm gonna lay this straight and hold that down for a moment. And you don't want it to buckle up or anything, so you wanna check it after you press it down, check it and make sure it looks straight. Because you don't want the your square to be, or your rectangle rather, to go all cockeyed on you. All right, so now what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna lay one down, <clears throat> excuse me, right next to it, just for a guide. And then I'm gonna take, and I'm gonna put glue right here and put glue right here, <coughs> excuse me. And then I'm gonna lay this one down right on top of that glue and butting right up against the other one. Okay, then we can remove this one. So now we know we've got, we'll have the same distance between each one if we keep using the same one. Okay, so now I'm gonna lay this one back down again and lay another one down all right, that's looking pretty good. Okay, so let's go ahead and put some glue on there. Put some glue on here. 
take the next one and glue it down. There. Okay, while we're letting that dry, we can peel this off. Okay, then we can put this back down again. And we can put this back there. Ooh, that's our last one on this corner. Cool. Alrighty, so we just need a little bit here, a little bit there. And come on, come on up here. Put that down and put that down. Hold that. All right, very good. Perfect. Now we can work on this side. So lay this down. Put a little glue right here, a little glue right here. Lay the next piece down. Okay, pull this other one out. Okay, lay this one down again. Put some glue down. Very simple to do. up again all right and this one should end up covering up the last one yep so we don't need any more so we're good all right so this this side this direction is all done okay so now we can turn it over and you can either use your cutting board your scissors or you can use your exacto knife I think I'm just gonna go ahead and just use my scissors and I'm gonna start on this side and just start trimming these off This one's, that one's done, and this one. Alrighty, and we've got these ones. Perfect, all right, so now we've got to turn it back over because we want to keep all of this on the back side of it. Okay, so now, we're going to go ahead and we're going to start again. And let me see. I don't, this one would be kind of maybe pushing it tight. Eh, whatever. We'll just do this one. All right. We'll start at this one. All righty. So I'm going to go ahead and lay this one down first just for reference. The last time we did, you know what? I'm gonna do it the same way I did it last time. Do it this way and then come over this way. The only thing is I would like the same angle. So what angle did I use? Right there. All right. So if I turn it this way, I should be able to, what did that line up? I'm making something out of nothing here. All right, never mind. <laughs> I'm getting too involved in that. All right, I'm just going to go ahead and put some glue here. Oh, this is my measuring one. No, I don't want that one. So I want a different one. Okay, I'm going to go ahead and that should work. All right, yep. Whoops, glue. All right, let's put some glue here. And... Why not? We'll go ahead and bring it right down here. I'm gonna go ahead and put a little glue here. 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 And put a little glue here. There, all right. That'll be nice and sturdy now. Okay, so then we can lay this one down and we can glue on the next one. Once you get the first one down, it's easy to just keep repeating. So put some glue here, put some glue there. Will that fit on there? Nope, not yet. All right, but this one will. OK, 
Okay, that's good. We can pull this middle one out. We can lay it down here. And then we can lay this one down. Will that one fit here? Oh, heavens yes. Okay, good. Let's use it there. All right, and then we can pull this away. Then we can turn it around, and I'm just gonna start laying this down here. All right, and I need a one to go there. Okay, so let's go ahead and put this down. Put this down. Okay, pick that up. Yeah, that's looking really nice. Lay this one down again. This extra piece really does make a difference. That's just barely. I'm not gonna push it, but we can do this one though. I'm playing with scraps and I'm trying to save scraps. <laughs> yep. This one out, lay it down here, and now we can certainly use it. This one, next one here, this one, and this one. And there we go. All right, ta da! Looks kind of like a pie top, huh? <laughs> All right, so let's go ahead and trim these now. Oops, it's easier if you turn it over. Now where'd that other one go? Right here. This one. There's one that was hanging over just a wee little bit. All right, that came out nice. All right. Very pretty. Good. All right, now. That looks pretty good. Woohoo. All righty. So now we can take and we can put a color panel on the card. So let's cut this down. Oh, now I'm picturing a green one for some reason. All right, like green back behind there. Let's see, four and a, or five and a quarter rather. That should be long enough. Five and a quarter. So if we glue that down, then we can glue this one down right on top of it. Yep, and I'll have those pretty colors behind. And then we can decorate it with flowers. That's pretty. So, or I'm picturing green right there, just like a solid green to be like, oh, here you go. Let's do that one. Let's do that one instead. That's a good idea. All right. It's not solid, but it's definitely green. That's for sure. All right. So let's do five and a quarter. All right, I think I'm gonna like this one better. And I'm just gonna go for it and glue it down. That way I can't change my mind again. See, secrets of the trade. If you want to change your mind often, then just go for it. Don't give yourself another chance. <laughs> All right. Perfect. Okay. Now this is really good for a couple different things. I like to do it just just for the fun of doing creating um, the lattice and then do do a flower arrangement on it or something. I think that's really pretty. This is also really good for covering up ugly cards or ugly decorative paper. If you've got paper that you're not you don't like, look how much of this paper it covers. It covers almost all of it. Just a couple little things coming out. Okay. Let's put it on a couple other pieces because I want to show you 
Well, we can put it back on this one too. Just a little bit of that color comes out, okay? What about another one? I don't have any that's really crazy in here. These were like pretty much neutrals. Let's see. Oh, here's one. Okay, let's try this. This is actually a tissue box. But look at it, it takes all the, almost all of the design away, which is kind of nice. All right, let's do a different one. Oh, here you go. Here's one, so you don't like this one. I love this one because I like the colors. But look at how that takes almost all of it away. Isn't that cool looking? I just think that's so neat the way it does that. It just alters it just, a, just enough to look different. Try and look for a crazy piece. I know I've got some crazy ones in here somewhere. <laughs> Actually, I guess I don't. <laughs> oh, here's some, some yellow. I love this color yellow. But I just love the way that looks. That just looks so neat. All right. So, but anyways, this that's another really good thing that you can use these for is to cover up papers that you don't like. Okay. Now I'm going to glue this right on top so we won't see that green. So I'm going to go ahead and put some glue on this. And I'm wondering if I should leave the lattice itself out. Yes, I think I will. That's the thing is, do you want to do it this way? Which one do you want the front, the framework? If I were, if I had this on my outside in my garden, I would want just the outside to show, not necessarily the inside. But ah, let's do it. Let's glue it on this one. And we'll let the frame be shown. This is going to be pretty, 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 pretty. All right. Move it down just a little bit there. Good. All right. Let's turn it over and give it a nice little back rub. There. All right. I do like the green. Keep it in behind. That's pretty. Okay. So now we can pull out the flowers and play. How exciting. Alrighty, so bigger flowers and smaller. <coughs> Excuse me, here's bigger ones. Okay. There. We'll play with those. That'll be nice. Okay. Ooh, we've got these red, blue, green. Ooh, look at these bright pink ones. Those are gorgeous. That would be pretty. ones. Maybe that's pretty. That's kind of similar. Three and that one. That one's kind of different. Yet kind of the same. Let's do, let's take these back. Let's put some, I want to try to see how many colors I can get in here. Two or three. Okay, so we need three of those, two of that. All right. Maybe some Yeah, and then we can start layering them together. That'll be pretty. That is pretty. All right, I need some more like this, though. That would be pretty. Ooh, we can sneak in a couple red ones. We can do some little ones, too, just for fill-ins. That would be fun. Let's hear some more. Maybe 
three of those for fill-ins. Three blue ones for fill-ins. Nice. Let me go in with the pinks. That's really pretty. I'm not liking just that one. I wish there were two of those. But you know what? I do have the red. So let's throw in a couple red. That's an idea. Yeah. That'll be pretty like that. Yep. And then we can squeeze those little ones in there. That's pretty. Okay. Let's go ahead and start gluing some of these down. That'll be nice. All right. Big ones first. Let's see. How about a pink one right down on the bottom? There. That's pretty. And then after that, I just want to go ahead and overlap them. Fill them in a little. That's pretty. So I have my Subaru in the at the dealers today, and they uh, they're supposed to be doing a recheck and a or recall rather, a recall and a, and then the, a mileage check. I forget how much. Um, but anyways, they just called and said, okay. So including the other stuff we did this morning already, the mechanic did find that you need, your brakes are going, your rear brakes are going and your tires are getting kind of used. So, uh, we He definitely suggests that you get both of these fixed. So they want us to replace all four tires and get the brakes done. And at the tune of $2,000, more or less. <laughs> I'm like, okay. How about you call my husband and talk to him about that? <laughs> yep, good idea. So my sweetie just called me and said, okay, honey, you're killing me. <laughs> he said, your expensive car is killing me. <laughs> I said, well, he's the one who picked it out for us. He likes to get a decent vehicle for, for me because it's our family vehicle and that's what we use to go and do everything. And so... I totally agree and understand that's that's a good idea. That's really pretty. Maybe I don't want it up that high. Yeah, let's do some little ones now. Squeeze these in. Good idea. Nope, that's too much. Don't like that there. All right, we need the greens. I need to get some greens and put them in there instead. But perhaps we could do like, no, but I'm gonna work with greens first. All right, green, green, greens. Oh, let's see. Got all these. All righty. Do I want this color or do I want this color? This one I could. Cut it apart in a couple pieces. That would be pretty. I like doing that with these. There. Actually, I could cut that again. Yeah. Yep, see, that looks pretty. Maybe that side. that up. 
Maybe this one out of the top. Like that. And this one out of here. Well, hi there, Butler. What you doing? Yeah, I like that. Come here, bud. Come on. Come here. I got my scissors on my desk, and I got lots of dangerous stuff out. I know. I'll give you some naps. Hi. You just wanted to come and say hi? Yeah, you heard me talking, so you knew what I was doing, huh? All right. <laughs> Never fail, silly boy. All right, I'm liking that. All right, so let's go ahead and put those down just like that. That'll be pretty. Nice. All right. Whoops, we don't need that little hair, though. No cat hairs. Alrighty. Then this little doodah. There and this. I'm thankful my husband's got a decent job. Especially after that phone call. Good golly molly. That's a lot of money. Yep. Oh gosh. Between marriages. Um, between my first and, and this marriage. Then I had to take my, my truck in for... because I had uh, some noise going on in my car. And uh, I went and the mechanic looked at it and he said, okay, you need new brakes. And he said, it's gonna be about around $200. And I just looked at him, didn't say a word, and tears just started rolling down my cheeks. <laughs> it's like, <laughs> I couldn't even talk. <laughs> I was like, okay. And he said, oh, ma'am, ma'am, please don't cry. <laughs> he was so upset that I was crying. And I said, I don't have $200. I said, because I, I wasn't working at the time, I didn't have $200. I had my credit card, so I was going to have to charge it to my credit card, but paying it off was going to be a different thing, so... I was living on my savings account at the time, so. But he said, well, ma'am, he said, he said, let me, he said, you can call around if you want to. Um, he said, that you'll know that we're giving you a very decent, a very decent price. And uh, I said, okay. And so I was just like looking at him still <laughs> in shock. And then he said, let me see what I can do, okay? Let me see what I can do. And then he came back, and he gave me a really nice discount. He said, all right. The guy did say that the technician said that he'd work, you know, he would just take like half, half, of, what, half of what he was originally charging, I guess. So, and it was like, and these two guys own the, own the thing. So... It's like they were able to do that, thank goodness. But they did give me a really nice discount. And they said, anytime you have any troubles with your vehicle, you bring it here and we will help you out. And I said, okay. Where did my little dishes go? They were right there. And I had other ones too. I'm looking for my dishes so I can dump that out. Oh, did I put them in here? Yes. All right, see, I'm trying somewhere new. All righty. These are gorgeous ones. They're so pretty. Alrighty, so let's get glue in each of these. And we can put these middles in all of them. Yep, yep, yep. And this is going to be pretty, 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 pretty. Oh my, that's pretty.
nice. Okay. Just want to check and make sure they're all centered before they dry now. They slide just a wee bit. All right, that's pretty. Ooh, I like the way that looks. Very nice. All righty, let's put this back in here. And I'm thinking, well, wait a minute. I don't know if I want to put maybe one up in the corner with a verse or something. No. Actually, I'll put a couple of these right there. All right. Let's do that. That'll be pretty. One, two, three. These are very high domed, but they're the AB dipped beads. They're so pretty. So they have a lot of color to them. Isn't that pretty? That came out really nice. I like it. So what do you think of doing this? The lattice work. Isn't that pretty idea? And I don't know why, but I wanted it to be green behind. Maybe to look like grass back there or something, but. I like the way that came out. And I hope you'll give this a try. Alrighty, so that's really pretty. And I do have this little piece left that I can put right on the inside. So I'm gonna do that before I forget because I do like to make the inside match the outside. There, that's nice. All right, and that's where I can add this one. <laughs> Yep, right on the inside. Cha-cha-cha, just like that. All right, very good. All righty, so once again, get it in the inside. So I hope you like this idea and you're, you'll give it a try. Um, if you're liking this series of videos, please keep giving me those thumbs up so that I know that you're still enjoying them. And until we meet again, happy crafting. Bye-bye.